Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Slice of Scythe, which is a mouthful to say, but I guess that this is a game that was made in 72 hours for Ludum Dare 44 with a theme of your life is currency. We play as the 19-year-old cousin of the Grim Reaper, and we're supposed to go out into suburbia and terrorize them so that we can gather enough souls to buy the hat of our dreams. That's literally the plot of this game. I'm very excited for it because it has this really cute sort of like anime style and it sounds like a goofy concept. So anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get started. We are this girl here. She looks so cute. She's looking at her laptop, which has a nice little skull on it. Limited stock, 10 souls now down to four souls plus shipping and handling. That's a pretty good deal there. So four souls and then according to the game page, we need $40 as well for the shipping and handling. So I'm guessing we have to make money by doing things around town as well. Oh, and she's thinking of herself with the hat. She looks so adorable. It's a little cowboy hat. Cute. All right, but she has no money. That's a mood. That's a mood, girl. I feel ya. Uh, from Big Daddy Satan. Oh, she has a, a gift of a scythe that I'm guessing she's never used before because it's still wrapped up unless it was just given to her. But now she can go out and make some money reaping some souls, I guess. So yeah, let's move on. Let's go into the suburbs. <laughs> okay, so we have a job board, the neighborhood job board, paid errand, uh, help, anyone smart, Need house cleaned will pay. Okay, so we have a number of different tasks. I'm guessing that this is sort of like a mini game style game then. So let's go ahead. Let's go into the first one. Do the paid errands. Ah, Tom. Hello. Oh, cool. I like that, that the, sh the screen shifts based on where your mouse is. Anyway, thanks. I mean, hi. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Tom, by the way. Off to a good start, Tom. Or go back. Uh, off to a good start, Tom. Sorry, I just, I always mess up introductions. Actually, I tend to mix up words all the time, even when I already know someone. Like, have you ever done that thing where, can you get to the point, what do you need me to do, or stop, your rambling is going to make me lose my mind. Uh, can you get to the point, dude? Come on. We're not very nice, by the way, which I guess sort of comes with the territory of being a grumpy grim reaper, but that's okay. Oh, of course, I just need you to go out and pick up some groceries for me and my grandma, April. She's sleeping right over there. Groceries? Your grandma? Okay, I'm ready over the river and through the woods to the grocery store we go. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, let's go. All right. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, it is like mini games here. It says complete the grocery list. Use arrow keys to find the right aisles for each item on the list. Use space to pick up the item. Okay, so we're, we're controlling like top down. 56 seconds is all we have. Okay, so let's find the chips, I guess. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I bumped into something. Oh, there's the chips, okay. Bread, uh, if I was bread, I would be, nope, that's ice cream. Oh, that that's cool, that's a cool little mechanic that it only reveals itself uh, when you scroll over it, so you don't know like where things are. Can we go a little bit faster here? Egg tart, what's that? Oh, that's an egg tart, yeah, yeah, it's a dessert. Ice cream was center, yes. Apple was top right, I remember the apple. Oh my gosh, this is a little bit more frantic than I thought it was gonna be. Ham was up top. Let's get it up top. Yeah, milk was uh, far left, I think. Uh-oh, we only got 19 seconds. Checkout, okay, yeah, going to the checkout. Bam, you won! Nice and easy. I like that, that's really cute. I like this a lot. Oh, hi, thanks so much again for getting all that food for us. Grandma's still sleeping, but if she were awake, she would thank you too. Let me grab some money for you. Thank you, awesome. So I'm guessing from the icons in the upper right here, so we have like a money icon, and then we have like a little ghost icon with a sad face. If we fail, do we like just take their soul and that's like one of the four souls that we need to buy the hat with? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Great, and I have some good news for you. Here you go. What's the good news? Yeah, we got 20 bucks up top. You won't need to share the grocery with Granny over there. Take her soul. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, it's a good thing to take their souls? Like, I get that there's four errands on the job board and we need four souls to actually buy the hat of our dreams, but we did the task and we're gonna kill Granny? I guess her time has come. She is rather old there, Tommy boy. 
Oh my god, we killed her. Wait, what? What are you? What is that thing? I is that a scythe? No, please don't hurt my grandma. No, no. Oh my god, I feel a little bit bad. All right, bye, Tom. Thanks for the money and the soul, I guess. Oh my god. So we already have half of what we need for shipping and handling. I wonder if each job is worth a different amount, or maybe if we fail some jobs, we... We just don't get the money and we only have to like complete two of these tasks. I don't know. We're going to click the little bunny that says help. It looks so cute. We're going to move on. This is like the perfect mixture of cute and dark. I love this type of aesthetic. I love this type of presentation. It's really good. Look at this girl. Her name's Maddie. She's very cute. You're finally here. Quick, close the door. This is top secret stuff. Uh, top secret or go back? Okay, top secret. Oh, sorry. I'm totally getting ahead of myself. I'm Madeline, but you should call me Maddie. I mean, you can call me Maddie if you want. Uh, pull yourself together. Uh, why is there paper, like, covering every surface of your room? Or, okay, Madeline, I'm ready to go. Why is there paper covering every surface of your room? I am curious. Uh, so, I've written a bunch of letters to a boy in my class, and I need you to deliver them for me. Okay, a boy, what kind of letters? Oh, uh, it's like a little love note she wants us to pass on to her crush, I feel like. Why can't you just deliver them yourself? Or, okay, I'm ready, and I definitely won't read anything while you're not looking. I gotta pick that one. I love that we're sassy as hell. It's great. Well, here goes, I guess. Okay, uh, deliver the love letter. Use arrow keys to avoid obstacles. Deliver the letter safely. I like that this game is in little chunks. I like that it's like in these little mini games. It's really cool. Okay, so we only have 20 seconds for this one. And there's little X's there. I don't know what those mean. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my God, we jumped so high. We jumped so high on our motorbike. Ah, yeah. Pop in those big ollies on the bike, on the moped. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have to jump over these obstacles. I get it now. Okay. That's easy. Oh, and we just have to outlast the timer. I bet the X's are like how many times we can get hit because those are close jumps. And we did it. Flawless run, baby. Feels good. Feels really good. Did you make it? What did he say? What did you say? I delivered them. He didn't even know who you were. Oh no, poor Maddie. Are we going to take her soul to put her out of her misery? Probably. But really? He didn't? That's well. Here's your money. I think I need some time alone. Yeah, it almost makes this seem like an act of mercy. Oh my god, we're totally gonna freaking kill her. <laughs> she had the worst news of her entire life. And we're going to kill her on top of it. Holy crap, it is a mercy killing. <laughs> <laughs> makes what seem what are you doing? Wait, no, not <laughs> <laughs> So we have two souls. Oh my god, so we have two souls and we have $40. So we already have the shipping and handling, so we've gotten that covered. And we're just going around. We're we're actually like the game page says terrorize suburbia. We're actually terrorizing suburbia. This is hilarious. All right. Anyone smart. Let's click this one. I like this game a lot so far. So we only need two more souls. There's only two more jobs. I think you guys know what that means. Dude, what's up? The name's Josh. Are you the one that's like uh, smart and stuff? I'm not a dude, Bill and Ted. <laughs> Oh man, might be, might be. You comfortable and stuff? Want a Coke or something? Still not a man. What do you need me to do? Or it would be pretty radical, bro, if you shut up and let me work. Let's pick that one. Oh, uh, no prob. So you know what to do, because I'm totally down to fill you in. Let out a resigned sigh, indicating that you suppose you'd accept some more information, or please just stop talking. All right, give me some more info, dude. Hit me with it. Hit me with the facts. Quick and nice now. Uh, so there's this math problem on Insta that's been like totally driving me insane. Really? Really? That's the the most of your issues? God, I hope I get to kill you. If if that's your big first world problem, is there's a math problem on Instagram that's driving you nuts? Oh, we're, we're getting this guy. Are you serious? There's no way you're serious. Wait, or why, why did you need this, <laughs> need me for this? Or fine, I'll solve your dumb math problem. I just get it over with. Fine, I'll solve your dumb math problem, idiot head. Thanks, dude. All right. So, oh, oh, it's starting already. Okay, so there's there's three X's, so I, I'm assuming we, we, we can't get it wrong more than three times. Three apples equals 30. So one apple equals 10, I'm guessing. So 10 plus two bunches of bananas equals 18. So each banana would then have to be four. So four minus coconut equals two. So coconut equals two. So two plus 10 plus four would be 16. So one apple equals 10. So this equals four. And then one coconut equals, uh, equals two. So it would be 16. Okay, that was easy. I'm, I'm good at these ones. Wait, what? That was wrong? Hint, count the bananas. What do you mean count the bananas? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, the last one only has three. Okay, 
Uh, banana three. Okay, all right. That's tricky and crappy. All right, like by Elon Musk in 20. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? How is, how is that wrong then? Coconut plus, so that's two plus, there's three bananas there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, crap. No, I didn't do it right. Oh, I got it wrong. I ran out of time. Oh, no. What happens now? I hope we still get to kill the dude. All we need is the soul, man. You don't have to pay me. I didn't do your job, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to take my sight through your forehead or something. Dude, my notifications are blowing up. Everyone's saying you're an idiot, Josh. L <laughs> LMFAO. And wrong again, lol. Did your drunk daddy help you out with this one and stuff? Did we get it right? That is some dark back lore <laughs> to Josh's character here. Oh, that's so sad. Take his soul. I'm doing the world a favor here, Josh. And I'm still not a dude. <laughs> See you, bud. You're dead. Oh, did I get it wrong again? God, my dad's gonna kill me. What? What are you doing? Don't blow that thing up. And then he dies. We get his soul. Okay, sweet. All right. So even if you fail the mini game, I'm really curious as to what the hell the answer to that problem would be then. But I guess uh, I guess it's one of those things where it's not going to matter because we have the forty dollars we need, and you still get the soul even if you fail the mini game. So need house cleaned will pay. I don't even know if I need to clean your house. I might just kill you right off the bat, whoever you are, Natalie. Hello, I'm Natalie. Are you here for the cleaning job? No, I'm actually a tourist. Donde esta el baño? <laughs> Where is the bathroom? I uh, haha, sorry. I don't really have time for jokes. I don't want to be late for my meeting. I just wanted to make sure you were settled in first. Full offense, but why is your house a wreck? Consider me settled, your majesty. Go have a fun meeting. I'm going to say full offense, but why is your house a wreck? Excuse me? Um, I uh, had a bit of a disagreement last night with my daughter, Olivia. Yeah? And it got, like, messy? Got violent? That wouldn't be very good. Olivia, wow, some disagreement, or, but why are you having me clean it up? Okay, I'm ready to rebuild your tidy, tidy facade that masks a deeply dysfunctional mother-daughter dynamic. I love this game. It's so dark and twisted, but, like, at the same time, like... <laughs> wow, okay, I love it. I love it. I love the mix of the cutesy with the dark. Okay, clean the house. We got 56 seconds. Click and drag your mouse to pick up any items off the floor and into their correct spot. So I'm already... Oh, I can scout the room a little bit. Okay, sure. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, what is this? Oh, uh, what is that? Papers? Oh, okay, they go on the coffee table. That makes sense. This is a uh, laundry. Where the heck does laundry go? Can I... Oh, on the couch. Okay, on the couch. On the couch with you, Laundry. Ah, nice and folded. Very good. Books would go table? No. Books would go plant? No. Probably not the plant. What am I thinking? Now you guys know how I decorate my house. Um, oh, bookshelf. Duh. Okay. Uh, pillow. Couch, probably. Right? Yeah, you won! Heck yeah! That one was the easiest one. I like that one. Ah, everything looks nice and neat again. I take it Olivia is nowhere to be seen. She probably ran away, dude. If you got that, like, messy and, and destructive when you just had an argument, I don't know. That doesn't sound very good. Sounds very dysfunctional, like our, our character was saying earlier. And you're probably not going to make that meeting. Just going to let you know about that ahead of time. No dice, champ. I see. Hopefully she'll be back later. I think I was wrong about art school. Oh, she's having a change of heart. Too bad she's not going to be able to find you. Nothing but a mangled corpse strewn across the perfectly made up living room. <gasps> yeah, about that. Do, uh, do you want me to give her a message? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you? Wait, no, I need to tell her I'm so. Oh, my God. That's uh, that one's the saddest one. That one's actually a little bit sad. Oh, I mean, Grandma, Tom's grandma was sad too, but she was also like ancient probably. But okay, there we go. $60, four souls. Congrats, you got the hat of your dreams. And all it took was a couple measly human lives. You know, well worth the price. I look so happy too. I look really, really happy. I don't know if anything different happens if you get the math problem right as well. If you get all four mini games right and you get $80, maybe you got just like that extra bit of spending cash. But I got 20 bucks in my pocket and a nice hat on my head and I still got my sight. So I think that I'm living a pretty good life so far. I really like this game. Again, the perfect mix of cutesy and deadly and dark and <laughs> just wow. This game took me by surprise. It was really fun. Very simplistic, but very, very fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you want to try it out yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description like I normally do so you can download it for free from over on Itch.io. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.
Dr. Bigley.